What's up, movie crew? Welcome to the latest Let's Watch. Before I get into this, if you are new to this channel, my name is Luke, this is Let's Watch a Movie, and if you're into anything cinema and physical media related, you've come to the right place, so hit that subscribe button. Today, I am seeing the latest film from Jordan Peele. Nope. So, I really enjoyed Get Out. I really enjoyed Us. I want to say I loved both of those movies, but I don't think I enjoyed them as much as the general public enjoyed them. Like, I know people that will give Get Out a perfect score. I'm not one of those people. It's good, don't get me wrong. But I don't rank it as high as everyone else does. Same thing with Us. Again, both movies are great. I rewatched them. They are both fantastic movies. So today, I'm going in to see Nope. And while I'm looking forward to it, I also know that I might not like this movie as much as everyone else does. So keep that in mind when I come back to give my thoughts. Well, I am going to go see this movie, come back, and give everyone my thoughts on Nope. All right, so I just got out of seeing Nope. This movie was really good. Um, as far as scale of the movie, this could be Jordan Peele's best well-made movie to date. And yes, I know there are some fans of Get Out that are going to hate what I just said. I expect it. Now, as far as the story goes, yes, Get Out is probably the better written story. But the scale of Nope, the ideas that are going on in the movie, I think make this the better movie. So there's not much I can really say without getting into spoiler territory. Now I will say this much, a lot of the trailers seem to focus on Kiki Palmer more so than Daniel, I cannot pronounce his last name. He is probably in this movie more than Kiki Palmer is. I don't know if there's much more I can say beyond that because I'm not sure what I could possibly say without giving anything away. And I do want to say to anyone that is expecting another horror film from Jordan Peele, while this movie does have horror elements in it, it is definitely more of a sci-fi film than a horror film. Yes, there's definitely some horror elements in here. One of the scenes in the trailer makes that obvious. However, I would not say if you're a huge horror person to go check this movie out. Definitely more for the sci-fi audiences. And I would not really I saw where someone compared this to alien no no uh, uh this is not that this is definitely I don't even want to say aliens this is definitely one of the more unique sci-fi films I've seen in a while and the score to this thing I've got to check and see who scored this film great job As far as negatives go, probably the same complaint I always have, which is I wish this movie were a little bit shorter. Like, there's a couple of scenes that they could have probably made a little bit shorter, and the end result would have been this being right around two hours. Maybe even a little bit less. And I think this movie could have told that story in that time frame. Outside of that, some of the trailers may be a bit misleading. 
especially for anyone that is expecting another Get Out or another Us. So other than those things, I would definitely say check this movie out. If you're a fan of sci-fi, definitely watch this movie. If you did like Get Out and Us, I would still say check it out just for the original idea. And for anyone like myself who's been wanting to check out more original films and less adaptations, you've got it right here with Nope. Overall, I try to keep my scores either at holes or halves. I feel like four might be a bit much, especially for some people watching this, but I feel like a three and a half is an insult. So I'm going to give this a 3.75. And I definitely recommend watching it in a full theater. The audience with some of the stuff that happened made the experience for this movie that much more fun. But that's going to do it for this one. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. You like what you see, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts on Nope. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching and tune in next time.